Uh, one more question. Um, so yeah. are you guys just never in a place where you have to hire without internship? I know you're now more established, but yeah. was there ever a period of time where it's like, shit, okay, things are just busy. We need someone in here. We don't have four months to get them ready. Yeah. So I think we've only hired two people that haven't come through the internship process. One guy was like a personal referral. Um, he started off great, but was a really bad hire in retrospect because mm -hmm. basically we got our boot camp off the ground and we were doing really well. And then he decided he was going to go open his own gym and yeah. try to take basically all of our boot campers with him. So again, that was, it wasn't a technical issue. Like maybe he didn't coach things exactly what I would have liked, but the chemistry and the cultural side of it was bad. Mm -hmm. Right. And the other guy was Ty Terrell and he was fantastic. Right. I mean, cause he was curious. Um, he'd studied under Lee. So we knew we wanted to get more athletes in here. He was great with speed work. So he was like a perfect fit. Right. So, you know, I, I try and keep myself out of that situation. Um, but I have had to do it in the past, you know, and you know, generally people that have worked here long enough, if somebody's going to leave, like we kind of know it's such a small business and we're all friends. Like, you kind of know if somebody's like looking around. So yeah. it's like, okay, now I need to start thinking about like who's next in line. Yeah. Right. And as far as your internship process is, is, do you market that out or do you work directly with schools only? Like, how does that process look? Yeah, we haven't marketed it out, but man, uh, if you listen to my podcast with Pete Dupuy from last week, like, man, the internship game is dirty now, man. This is like serious. Like, there's just so many, like every place that hangs up their shingle now thinks they're like qualified to run an internship program. Um, so generally we work directly either with a student or with the school. Um, we have not necessarily marketed it. We do have a page on our website that just talks about, you know, the internship and the process and what it looks like, but generally it's direct contact. So somebody knows of us or knows, me or Bill or Jason or Jay or Danny or Eric or whatever. And they're like, Oh, I want to go intern at that place. Mm -hmm. So generally either the student reaches out um, and we have uh, made an effort to reach out directly to schools, especially like local schools and just say, Hey, you know, if you have an XI program, we'd love to take, you know, young, hungry coaches and trainers or people that want to be in the industry and have them here at IFAS. So I think, if you've got personal connects, that's always the best way to go. But especially in a big city where you guys are at, I would look at like a, I don't know, like a three hour radius. The other great thing is you're in Toronto, right? It's not like you're in some three hour away, like whatever podunk city that nobody wants to come to. Mm -hmm. So I would like look at like a three hour radius. Any schools that have an internship program, I'd be like, oh, hey, you know, here's uh Here's our contact info. If you ever have students in your XI program that want to become trainers or coaches, we'd love to talk to them. But man, I think it's, it's such a good thing for your business. Um, it does feel like work initially, but man, it does a lot for you as coaches. It makes you better coaches yeah. because you're not, there's a different level and depth of understanding when you're teaching a peer versus when you're teaching a client or a member, right? It's just a different dynamic. They've got different questions. They're more educated. They're going to force you to really kind of stick to your guns in some cases or, or rethink why you do things. So lots of benefits to starting a program if you haven't already. Cool. Thank you very much. Yeah.